morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who is listening to the sound of my voice and from wherever you are listening to this message from. It's your girl Claire and I remain your girl Claire. And before I go into the message that I have for us today or whatever it is I want to share with us today, I want to quickly say a big thank you to everyone um, of you who is a member of this channel. I want to say a big thank you to you and say God bless you and thank you so much for um, being a part of what God is doing here on this channel. I do not take you for granted. I appreciate you all. God bless you for your support. And also to thank every one of you who has been here to um, support me by watching my videos and listening to my messages. Um, God bless you. I appreciate you all. And for those of you who are stopping by for the very first time, I want to say a big thank you, thank you, thank you to you for stopping by to watch um, or to listen to my my message or to listen to what i have to say in this video you are highly welcome to this channel is a motivational um and an inspirational channel where i motivate people with the word of god so you are welcome and god bless you for stopping by and um i also want to thank god um but before i do that i want to ask um, how you all are doing. I hope you are all staying strong. I hope um, you are um, standing on the word of God and the promises of God to you. Irrespective of what is going on around you, I hope um, you are clinging to your faith and um, trying as much as possible not to look at the things that are happening around you, no matter how difficult it is. Um, just fix your gaze on Jesus and keep um, holding on to um, the word of God consigning your life. Amen. God bless you and I love you all. Um, I will start by praying and thanking God and saying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your holy name. You are the God of all creation. You are are uh, the immortal God. You are God who existed even before time began. Um, you are God who doesn't need a man to be the God you are. We thank you because your mercies, they are new every passing day. We thank you because great is your faithfulness towards us all. We thank you, O oh God, because you are highly enthroned above. We thank you, Lord, because to you be um, belong the honor, the, the power, the praise, the adoration. It all belongs to you. We give you all the glory, O oh God, because um, you love us even b before we first loved you. We thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice um, that was made on Calvary to redeem us and to give us uh, an eternal hope, which is in Christ Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for your grace that um, comes through for us every passing day. We thank you, Lord, even though we don't even deserve it, oh God, because it's not um, by works that any man should boast, but it's all about your grace. We thank you, Lord, for the redemptive work that was done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on the cross of Calvary. We thank you, Father, for your protection, your divine protection, your divine um, guidance. We thank you, Lord, because you um, are the God who watches over your own. You are God who delivers your own from all evil. For this reason, I pray against every power of darkness. I pray against every satanic influence that will want to um, cause any form of doubt in the hearts of those who are listening to this message in the powerful name of Jesus. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke every, every activity of the evil one, of the dark 
age that want to steal the words that they will hear from their hearts in the powerful name of Jesus. I pray, Father Lord, that these words will have an impact in the life of anyone that is listening in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We we are grateful. We thank you because we are still here today and we are standing not because of who we are but because of who you are we thank you oh god and we give you all the glory for you alone deserve it in jesus most powerful name amen so i will start today by telling us a story once upon a time there was a young boy who after he was born at the age of two his father noticed that he loved playing football meaning he had a passion for football so often his father would play with him indoors and his father would notice how good he was at it and would encourage him by telling him how good and how talented he was at playing football. So one day he said to his father, Dad, you know what? I would like to be a footballer and not just one, but the best when I grow up. And his father was so proud of him. As he was growing up, he made some friends. So at the age of seven, his parents would let him go out and play football with his mates who were his neighbors and likewise his friends. But anytime he went out to play with them and he's in control of the ball, they would laugh at him and tell him how bad he is at playing football. They would discourage him by telling him how unskillful he is. He would become afraid and would immediately leave the field crying and would run back home to tell his dad that he's not good enough at playing football and how he's not talented enough to become a footballer. His father would ask him, why do you think so? And he would reply that the other kids told him so. His father, on the other hand, would tell him he's not true and would remind him of how good he plays when they play together that he shouldn't listen to the other kids that whatever they said didn't matter this kept reoccurring until a certain day the same repeated itself and he ran back to his father crying and said i am never going to play football again neither do i want to be a footballer anymore because i lack the skills exactly what he was told by the other kids his father tried to encourage him not to give up on his dream, but he wouldn't listen. Years passed by and he would stay indoors and play alone or sometimes with his dad. Every day his dad would remind him of his childhood dream and how he mentioned that he wanted to become the best footballer of his time and how talented he is. But anytime he remembers what the other kids will say when he goes out there, he would stay back indoors. One day, his father decided to have a conversation with him that changed his entire life forever. He started by telling him that his dream wasn't meant to be private or locked up inside, that staying indoors to play is not the best way to build up his dream or showcase it to the world. His father told him, that his dream of becoming the best footballer would come true if only he stops listening to the discouraging words from the other kids and stop being afraid of them. He advised him to ignore the negative attitude of his friends and to concentrate fully on achieving his dream. Then he told his father that those words kept repeating in his mind and how he doesn't have any control over that. Then his father said this to him, you know what? When next you go out there to play with them, always remember what Papa told you. Remember the words of your father and not their words. Always remember, I said, you are talented. You are a good football player. You are skillful and you are the best. You are unique at what you do and above all that you can do all things if you believe that it is possible. And he went further to say, keep repeating these words to yourself out there. Shut them down by allowing my words to you dominate whatever they will say to you. 
So the next day, he made up his mind to go play with the other kids. Immediately they saw him, they started laughing and saying the same thing to discourage him from playing. But he remembered what his papa told him indoors. He kept repeating every word his father said to him. He kept muttering them to himself. As he did that, he kept hearing only the voice of his father and kept playing and giving it his best shot. He wasn't distracted and never left the football field. From that day onwards, he would go back every day to the field to play and to train. And guess what? After several years of not giving up on his dream, at the age of 21, he became a national play, a football player and was, of course, the best in his football league. So what exactly is it today trying to discourage you from doing that which means so much to you? What is it that is trying to break you? What is it that is trying to disconnect you from achieving your dreams, your plans or your goals? What is that thing that is trying to take your gaze off your target or get you to quit on your dreams, your purpose or your plans? Tell me what exactly is that thing trying to make you quit on that business, that project you have at hand, that house you are building, that dream job you've always desired, that profession you you've always wanted what is it that is trying to make you quit on that dream of being the one you've always wanted to be what is it that is trying to discourage you from what god created and packaged you to be were you born for the purpose of being a singer an educationist a governor an activist a lifesaver an engineer a good politician maybe a social worker or a source of inspiration or motivation to others. Maybe you were born to be a businessman or woman, or a minister of God's word, or even a youth coordinator, a choir director, a banker, a legal practitioner, a pastor. Whatever your purpose is for living, never you give up on that dream because of what anyone says or think. You might not have a technical know-how, on how to do the job, but the grace of God will cover you. You might be unskillful in that field, like David, who had no experience in, a, uh, uh, in fighting a battle. Not just any kind of battle, but a battle against a giant. But God came through for him. The anointing of God stood him out. Like the little boy who got discouraged by other kids, whenever he went out there to do um that which he had a passion for what do you do when you get discouraged when you are tossed about by the wind of discouragement the wind of difficulties when sorrow like sea below's rule when that dream plan goals or purpose seem impossible to achieve or seem so far from becoming a reality do you remember your father's word and promises to you in the scriptures or do you lay hold on what he told you in the secret place? Or do you allow fear and doubt to dominate? What exactly do you do when you get discouraged? When people try to discourage you from holding on to what you believe, do you remember that God's word concerning you is yea and amen? My brother, my sister, I tell you that such folks are everywhere. You can find them in your sphere of contact, at work, in church, business circle, school setting, social media, and so on. No matter where you find them, I encourage you today to always remember that God sees the best in you and wants the best for you and that it is what his eternal promises to you is all about. Yes, that is exactly what his eternal promise is to you, is all about. Whenever you feel like quitting or giving up, remember that you can trust God to handle it. Remember that all you need for life and godliness is made available to you already in Christ Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are a success. You are above and never beneath. You are a heir of the Father and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. You are victorious and you are packaged for signs and for wonders. 
before I round up, I'll quickly like us to go to the book of Philippians 4, verse 8. Let's see what it says. Philippians 4, verse 8. It says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. What does that tell you? The Word of God is everything right. The Word of God is everything true. The Word of God is everything noble. The Word of God is everything pure. The Word of God is everything lovely. And the Word of God is everything admirable. The Word of God is excellent and praiseworthy. He says, think on such things. So anything you do, in everything you do, always remember God's promises to you and don't allow the things happening around you or what people say or what people think of you deprive you of achieving your dreams or fulfilling your dreams or your God-given purpose. God bless you and I love you and see you in my next video. Be encouraged. Refuse to be discouraged. God bless you. Bye. There is nothing in